Okay, we rolling. Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Buongiorno. I'm back with another video, a very special one. This is gonna be my very first cooking video. It's been requested you guys want me to cook together with you. So I'm gonna do that. I love cooking, I love food, so I don't mind at all. We're gonna make an Italian dish, Italian theme today, a spaghetti bolognese. It's gonna be like my touch on it. Probably not gonna be like the original, but we have some beef here ground beef we get some spaghetti of course and then in my bolognese i'm gonna have some zucchini i found this one some carrots uh, celery we got some tomato here and then the seasoning that this camera is standing on right now hold on i'm gonna show you <laughs> you gotta have a lot of seasoning so here are some of the things that we're gonna use okay so before we get started i just want to say that when i cook i never measure things uh, how much of this and how much of that I just put in use my eyes use my taste buds trying and Yeah, just use flavors that I enjoy personally So like I said, this is not gonna be a traditional spaghetti bolognese It's gonna be my version of it and I just use things that I have sometimes I put in like green red peppers and stuff like that different ones But this is what we got to play with and I'm hungry So I'm super excited to make this dish together with you guys and we're gonna see how is gonna turn out? I'm confident. I know it's gonna be delicious. Moito <laughs> bene. My kitchen is pretty small. I'm living in a studio in southern France right now. I've been here for a little bit over a month, but it's cozy. I love it. And I finally got my pots and kitchen things. So that's why I can finally cook together with you guys. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you step by step how we're gonna make this Milo spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> It up. So now I have washed the carrots and celery and zucchini as you can see now it's clean and fresh Always wash your hands obviously and just put your hair back because you don't want no hair in the food and stuff And my space is very limited here So I'm just gonna put those aside and yes, I'm using the leaves too and the celery is fine to eat It's healthy. So now I'm just gonna chop all this up. This feels so weird sitting down and chopping I'm gonna have to stand up hold on Okay, much better. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if you just spill around you and stuff. This is part of cooking. Like, if you got a clean uh, kitchen while you're cooking, I don't know if I can trust you. I'm sitting here drinking tea while I'm cooking, by the way. So I'm just chopping up this zucchini and I'm wondering are you guys the type of person who likes chunky bites in your food? Or do you like it fine chopped? I'm like it's different depending on my mood. Sometimes I like chunky bites and sometimes it's nice with fine ones. I don't want to chop these up too much though. Maybe a little bit. Zucchini makes it very fresh and juicy. And food. I love to have it in my lasagna too. And the carrots are done. The size is perfect for me, just how I want it. It's like medium, not too chopped up like fine. And not too chunky. And look at the beautiful colors, celery, carrots, and zucchini. Right now I'm sitting here waiting for the ground beef. The meat to be done, it should be done in a few minutes. And then we're gonna put in the carrots, celery, and zucchini, and the seasoning, all that yummy stuff. And I barely had any oil in the meat because it got natural fats, so you don't have to. I'm so tired from chopping the carrots and stuff. Some people be having the machines that does it, but I did it by myself with my small <laughs> This might sound weird, but you can actually hear when the meat is done. It got like a certain, I don't know how to describe it, but the sound and then it's gonna get some brown layer on the meat. Not get burned, but just a color because that flavor too is really good. It's done, you guys. It's getting like a nice color. And now only with the vegetables. Look at the nice colors coming together. So beautiful. Smells amazing. And now to the seasoning, you guys. I'm gonna have onion powder, 
garlic powder, and some five different chili peppers. And I'm gonna add more and more like while I'm cooking and just taste it off. And paprika is a must. Love the flavor of that. You gotta have turmeric. Turmeric is super healthy. I love turmeric. I forgot what this is called, but it's good. <laughs> I love lemon pepper. Got a lemon pepper. I love oregano too. A lot of oregano. And like I said, I'm gonna add more while I'm cooking. This is sea salt. When I pour in the tomato sauce, I'm gonna put more seasoning in probably. It usually be like that. It smells amazing, you guys. I'm putting in the tomatoes now. It's just pure 100% tomatoes, nothing else. I'm actually putting in a third. I didn't think it was gonna be this much meat. Every single drop. <laughs> now it's perfect and it smells so good. Oh my God. I wish you guys could smell this. Now you're just gonna let the flavors marry each other for a few minutes on low heat. I like that it's saucy, but it's not like water, you know, it's still kind of thick. I like it. Now we're just waiting for the pasta to be done, and then we can finally eat. Oh, my tea got cold. But by the way, I added some uh, more seasoning to the bolognese. Just, you gotta taste and try. Okay, I'm definitely cutting that part out. I don't know if you could see in the camera, but the heat was too high on the pasta and the water. Everything came all over the place, but that's what happens. You cook and you learn. The pasta should be done in like two minutes, hopefully. And I need to heat up my tea. I got my tea, but it's hot. The spaghetti is done, you guys, and I'm just pouring some olive oil on it and some sea salt. Now let's make a plate. Don't judge me, you guys. Do not judge me. A lot. Yummy. I want some ricola on this side. And a little bit of oil, olive oil. Okay, honest opinion. How does this look? If you came over for dinner today, would you eat this? Let's taste this. You guys can see everything. My spaghetti bolognese. Every time I make spaghetti bolognese, by the way, a, it's a different version because I never follow a recipe, so. Let me take over there. Mmm. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm not even lying, like the, oh my god, this is a 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Mm -mm. So much flavors and come on you guys, like what? I said, like, come on, like we having a conversation, like you can hear me. This is amazing. I'm not even exaggerating. Wow. It's just so much flavor. When it touched my mouth immediately, I was like, yeah. I did that. I did that. And I'm gonna have food for days. I have so much and nobody to share it with. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna enjoy my spaghetti bolognese. I'm so curious what you guys think of this. Judge me, have your own opinion down in the comments. I got thick skin, I can take it, but and let me also know if you want me to keep doing these cooking videos too. I just enjoy mixing it up on this channel, posting whatever but i had a lot of fun i hope you had too and then you get inspired to cook and stuff like that and you have an amazing day whatever you're gonna do thank you so much for clicking on this video showing love support like this video if you liked it comment down below subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys very soon with another video i can't even talk i'm gonna eat this bon appetit bye you guys <laughs>